Those affected by yesterday's ice raid are looking for answers and advice. Street preachers standing along part of this sidewalk on West Highland Street are causing a lot of controversy again. For everyday preventative measures, Rodriguez says it's best to cover your mouth when coughing, wash your hands, and stay home if you experience flu-like symptoms. 535 is a part of your commute. Pay close attention. On and off ramps are changing this week. As spring continues to blossom in North Texas, so does the pollen count. I found out which trees seasonal algae sufferers should be aware of. Texas House Bill 1950 was filed today. The bill would add student IDs to the list of acceptable photo IDs voters could present at polling locations, opening up voting opportunities to thousands of Texas students. Those affected by yesterday's ice raid are looking for answers and advice. When 280 workers are detained, it's a difficult day, not only for them, but their families. Some family members of those affected by the raid are turning to organizations like Light Hope Immigration Law Center for help. There's a lot of people who is coming today to look for legal help. Uh, they, they are trying to find about their loved ones. They are trying to know where they are. They, some of them know about them. Some of them have not received a phone call. And there is a lot of pain in that area because it's, I mean, to be like without knowing of your family member is the most terrible thing. The group has been providing legal advice and assistance for families at Vivid Life Church in Plano. Attorney Pablo Acosta advises those who were detained to consult with an attorney and find out what available resources they can use. We're just telling them also to, um, to just be calm. I mean, uh, some people are still wanting to know where their family members are. So we're just uh, helping them uh, find resources to locate them by the ICE website or by uh, just calling them directly. Um, so that's some of the things that we've been doing uh, here today. Anyone affected by the raid who needs legal assistance can contact Light Hope Immigration Law Center. In Allen, Victoria Wickham, NT Daily News. Street preachers standing along part of this sidewalk on West Highland Street are causing a lot of controversy again. The National Street Preachers Conference started last year according to the group's website. The group was on UNT's campus last year sparking a wave of responses from students and faculty for the group's controversial signs and beliefs. The group is back this year and so are the students protesting them. But this year, UNT students are also diverting attention from the street preachers. Today, the Student Government Association is hosting a blockout hate rally to celebrate UNT's diversity. The event has food, games, and even a carnival ride. Kind of our motto is that our diversity is our strength, but our unity is our power. So we're really trying to unite all these students to come together, even if it's having fun games, even if it's just eating food together. That's kind of one way that we're um, limiting them not only to kind of this like hateful rhetoric that I don't think anyone on campus even supports, but also uniting them together as students. Also ahead of the street preacher's visit to campus this year, UNT President Neil Smastrick issued an email yesterday addressing the UNT community saying, quote, at UNT, we accept and support everyone. We are a safe place for our students, and we celebrate each student's unique backgrounds, beliefs, and dreams. The campus has a free speech policy, but there are limitations, such as designated areas and noise and demonstration restrictions. Students who feel distressed by the preacher's presence on campus are encouraged to visit the Division of Student Affairs safe space in the Union today and tomorrow. It's just an open space uh, to, you know, kind of uh, seek affirmation, support, um, just to provide whatever we can for students who might be in distress. Other resources available on campus include Counseling Services and Office of Diversity and Inclusion. The National Street Preachers Conference will last through this weekend. In Denton, Victoria Wickham, NT Daily News. As spring continues to blossom in North Texas, so does the pollen count. I found out which trees seasonal algae sufferers should be aware of. This is the last of the elm bloom. This is American elm. Spring is here in North Texas. It's a season where trees begin to bloom, flowers start to blossom, and the grass gets a little greener. But for many people, it means it's the start of allergy season. Louisville Lake Environmental Learning Area Director Kenneth Stegman says there's several trees that give people problems, including one that doesn't even grow here. And that's the uh, ash juniper. 
uh, which if you're familiar with the Austin area in the hill country, that's a, a tree that grows down there in huge numbers. And that pollen travels in the air for hundreds of miles. Stegman says currently green ash and Texas ash trees are starting to bloom in North Texas, and he expects to see more pollen in the air in the upcoming weeks. Hackberry is, is blooming now, just starting to bloom. That's another early successional tree that we find in all these uh, uh, woodland areas, uh, probably one of our most common trees. High levels of pollen are reported in the air this week in Denton. The Asthma and Allergy Foundation of America says some symptoms of pollen allergy include sneezing, nasal congestion, red and watery eyes, and mucus production. For more information on pollen allergy, you can visit AAFA's website.